when that's how we start a segment. Please welcome Claire Tanzi from <laughs> Charlie Magazine. Ribs, 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 ribs chicken, chicken sauce. It's all part of it. I love the fact that you uh, all did this in Chatelaine Magazine. So it's all these sort of barbecue favorites. Yes. And my husband's already tried a couple of the recipes oh, in here, good, yeah. which okay. has been great. Good. This is his source. Like well, he's all about the Chatelaine recipes. This and is, you guys are here for and us. And this issue, we decided to sort of take our, our like, these years of wisdom that we all had, you know, however many 150,000 years we've all been working in kitchens. Right. And just apply it to our barbecue favorites. Yeah. So we've got the really the only rib recipe you'll ever need. They're the that only good. chicken recipe you'll ever need. Okay. And then a whole bunch of sauces which will just sort of keep you excited all through the summer. Ooh, nice. And then about I think 40 different side dishes. Anyway, Forty. We'll talk about that so later. So there's a lot of variety. <clears throat> a lot you're, of variety. You're never gonna get bored with it. My goodness, it's barbecue season. We've got to lap it up while we can. Yeah. Every night, I want you out there turning on no the problem. fire, cutting something on fire. Yeah, I think. Well, that's the way we roll, anyways, it in is. Canada. We it know is. that summer is fleeting, yes. so get out there and enjoy it. Have your meals outside. Indeed. You know, really do it upright. Yeah. With the, uh, I noticed that you're doing something with vinegar here. I know, it's very vinegary. Sorry, I like, everybody, you're all really like, strongly. your eyes are watering. Does that have anything to do with your ribs? It does. Okay, let's you're talk about it. You're at you, you're the clever one. <laughs> so, ribs. All right, this is, as I mentioned, the only rib recipe you'll ever need. Okay. We do a really quick rub, lots of garlic and chili powder. And then the thing with ribs, when you're, when you're cooking them, you want to actually steam them first. Okay. You want them to be tender. Yeah. And unless you're going to do like a 12 hour smoked rib, like on a, one of those big smokers or you know what, like, you, need to, you need to cook them first so okay. that they're nice and tender. We, we don't all have those smokers. We also don't all have 12 hours. Yeah, we I want ribs tonight. Hours. Like, uh, <laughs> I, gotta, I can't go to work today. I gotta smoke some ribs. <laughs> So the, you steam them. We we like to steam them in a bit of beer because that just yeah. adds another layer of flavor. And nice. then they're essentially cooked, but we're gonna finish them off with the most amazing sauce. So a little bit of cider vinegar. Okay. Ton of brown sugar. So it's sour and a bit of sweet. And then to really add to something a little bit unusual. Any what idea? Is that? Instant coffee. That's what that is? I know. Honestly, get yourself a can of instant coffee. Don't That's ever drink it. Just use it in your baked goods. <laughs> So what if that, we've acquired a taste for instant coffee? Listen, I have, I'm, you know, I'm married to a Brit. We have instant okay, coffee okay, all the time. It. Yeah, all yeah, right, yeah. It's, it's all right. Me. No shame. There's no shame. Yeah. Just Chili powder. Like but what the, what the coffee does is it adds a real depth and just a yes. little hint of bitterness. Because sometimes I find ribs, it's just sweet. You it's just too have that sweet. hammering sweet and you can't eat five racks of them. Right. Which you know <laughs> you, you want to be do. able to do that. So the chili powder adds the flavor, the spices, you got the sugar, you got the coffee. Now here's the chili garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go, I know you like spicy, we're going to yeah. go for it. Add do it all. It. Obviously that is something you just add as much or as little as you want. Right. And that cooks, boils for about 12 minutes okay. and it becomes this. Ooh. Oh, nice and thick and ooey and gooey glossy. good. So sour, sweet, salty, spicy, really, really rich and umami. Mm -hmm. So now these ribs are really close to being finished. I'm just going to finish them on the grill. Yeah. 10 to 20 minutes, nice low heat. You could even do this a day in advance. Okay. And then I'm gonna baste just a little bit when I put them on the grill. And the thing to remember here when you're basting, and this is the same with any barbecue sauce, whether you make it at home or not, mm -hmm. it's high in sugar, so it's going to burn. Yes. So you wanna keep the heat actually fairly low. It's fun to crank up the fire and get those flames going. Oh my gosh, last night my son, he was like, Daddy, call the fire department. <laughs> Which he says 200 times a day because he loves fire trucks. Right. Except that there were flames coming out of our barbecue. <laughs> this time he really meant it. That's right. So you baste and you just go slowly and all you're doing is reheating them, getting some nice grill marks on them and then you just right. take them off the grill and serve them. There is something nice about doing most of the cooking off the grill though because then you have that surety like right. they are cooked. That they are cooked right. all the way through. That now they're right. just on the grill for a little bit yes. of fun and flavor. Yeah and, and really easy and fun on. and you are gonna, they're so they good. good. I am really not a ribs person. You, uh, Mike would tell you that but I love these. They're, they're addictive. There's just that flavor balance is really addictive. How can they not be? 